Most riders know that getting your knee down doesn't really do much to improve your speed or competence as a rider, but it doesn't change the fact that it's a very real goal for a lot of newcomers to the track. In this video, I want to touch specifically on where the best places are around the track to practice getting your knee down so that you stand the best chance of achieving that goal as you work to hit this milestone. It took me a long time to get my knee down on a track day. My speed was coming along nicely and I was doing well from a fundamental standpoint, but that knee just wouldn't hit the deck, even though I could see that most riders around me were, many of whom I was passing. For this reason, I totally understand the frustrations of riders that want to make it happen, however silly that may be and how it can sometimes become a big focus for the learning rider. But right at the start, I want to say that this isn't going to be a full how to get your knee down guide, because really getting your knee down comes down to two things. First is achieving a good body position, something we've already covered. And second is having the necessary speed to actually lean the bike far enough to achieve getting your knee down, which is what most of the videos on this channel help you do. And that second one will be where the vast majority of riders struggle, leaning the bike far enough to actually achieve knee down. So what we're going to talk about here are a few smaller pieces that'll help set the stage to you hitting that goal. So with that, let's go over a few points on how to approach this. The first is to be intentional. A big part of improving any area of riding is to go out there with a plan and execute on that plan. Just riding around hoping for something big to change is unlikely to get you the result you want. Certainly not in the time frame you want anyway. For this, I would advise you to get clear on exactly where you're going to push your current limits to get that knee down. This could be as specific as one corner in particular if that's what you think suits the following criteria I'm about to talk about. In my opinion, picking a medium speed corner is a good place to start because the speeds aren't so crazy they scare you and they aren't so slow that it feels difficult to get into your desired body position where slow corners tend to make it harder to do that. And if you have a direction you feel more comfortable in, as most riders do, then pick a medium speed corner in that direction if you can, because again, it's going to remove a level of discomfort. And the final piece of advice on this is to pick a longer corner. What often happens when riders try to push their lean angle limits is that they lean into a corner and bump straight into the normal limit where they feel comfortable. In shorter corners, this doesn't give you as much time to adjust, but in longer corners where you spend multiple seconds at a given lean angle, you have time to assess the situation and work to lean the bike more so that you can get your knee closer to the ground. Basically, what we're doing here is trying to find the best platform to push your limits, somewhere where you're more comfortable and there's less things occupying your mind so that you can really focus on doing the thing you need to do, lean the bike and stick your knee out. And for that reason, I would tell you to not be too concerned with your lines here. Forget about hitting the perfect points around the track or creating the ideal lines for maximum speed through particular corners you're working in. We have one goal here, break your lean angle barrier and get your knee down. All we're looking to do is get you nudging past your current limit. So just think of the space you have as a play area to do just that. Now, I'd still advise you work to use the track width and remain predictable like you would expect of every other rider out there. All I'm saying here is not to worry too much about nailing bike placement and lines for now. Don't forget to stick that knee out. Knowing and practicing good body position technique is a prerequisite for this. So when you have that in place and you begin trying to push your limits, don't be afraid to really stick that knee out to get that first touch. It's not the way you'll ride in the future. However, in my experience, getting that initial touch can have a psychological effect on how confident you are going to that lean angle again in the future and eventually past it. Fundamentals first, but eventually you have to push. I know for some people watching this, the idea of riders going out there and trying to get their knee down won't sit right with them. And they'll think that those same riders should just not worry about it and let it happen. And on some level, I do agree. Practicing proper technique should absolutely be the focus, and getting the fundamental pieces in place should be what you look to do first. The trouble with just letting it happen is that for a lot of riders, they hit a wall, and just riding around hoping they break through that wall isn't likely to get them the result they want. So yes, your riding technique should absolutely be a high priority, but eventually you just have to push past your limits to make that next step. What we've just talked about are simply some of the practical ways and places in which you can do that. 
Did you find a particular spot on the track that was good for practicing breaking lean angle barriers and getting your knee down? Tell us about it in the comments down below. And as always, if you like the video, then please hit the button and subscribe to the channel for more performance riding advice and guides moving forward. Take care.